Great, I finally have time to update that spreadsheet. Oh no, someone has a spreadsheet open and it won't let me make any updates. Hey Justin, can you close that spreadsheet? Justin! Has this happened to you? Jane and Justin use a spreadsheet to help manage their program. They work in a very collaborative, cross-functional team and wish they had better tools to help them work together. They should consider using Google Sheets, an online application that gives them the functionality they need, but allows for greater collaboration and accessibility. Let me show you how their team could be using Google Sheets to collaborate. Jane has a question about something in the spreadsheet. In Google Sheets, she can communicate with others about specific cells or include notes about a change she is making. First, she clicks on the cell, then clicks the Comment button on the toolbar. A box appears next to the cell. She can click in the box and type her question. She wants to direct this question to Justin to make sure he sees it. So, she types a plus sign, followed by his email address. When she is done, she can click the comment button to save. And Justin will be sent an email notification, letting him know there is a comment waiting for him. Also, as the person who created the comment, Jane can edit or delete it if she wants. Later, Justin opens the sheet and can see that someone has made a comment by an indicator on the sheet tab. In this case, he knows there is one comment on the sheet. He can click the cell that contains the comment to make it appear. If he wants to reply to Jane's comment, he must click in the reply box and type his response. Once he is done, he clicks the reply button to save. It's important to know that only people with the permissions can edit or can comment can reply to a comment. People who can only view the sheet cannot see the comment. Once the discussion is over, you can click the Resolve button to close the comment. This way, you can remove the comment from your screen without deleting it. If you want to see a comment that has been closed, you can find it by clicking the Comments button. From here, you can see the history of all closed comments. You can even reopen a comment if you would like to continue the discussion. One more thing to know about comments. If you are the owner of the sheet, you will receive an email notification if someone else leaves a comment. People with can edit or can comment permissions will receive an email only if someone replies to a comment they have left. If you would like to change the notification settings for this sheet, click the notifications button. Now meet Sharon, Jane and Justin's teammate. She would like to send a sheet to the team, but wants to be notified if they make any updates. She can click the Tools menu and select Notification Rules. From here, she can ask to be notified when someone else makes a change to the sheet. And whether she wants to receive an email right away or just once a day. Once she has made her choices, she can click Save, then Done. Now Sharon is ready to send the sheet. The sheet has already been shared with the team, so she clicks the File menu and selects Email Collaborators. Notice the name of the file has automatically become the subject line of the email. Sharon can edit the subject line if she wants. and type a message. Daniel is on vacation and won't see the email on time, so Sharon unchecks him so the email will not be sent to him. She can click the Send button when she is done. Now meet Anne. She receives the email from Sharon and clicks the link in the email to open the sheet.
she decides that she wants to filter the data so that she can focus on the information that is most important to her. First, she clicks the filter button on the toolbar. When she does, drop-down arrows appear at the top of each column. She can click the arrow in the column she wants to filter by and make her filtering selections. It's important to remember that when you add a filter, it will be filtered for everyone else too. So if someone else looks at the sheet while Anne has it filtered, they will not see all of the data. What happened with my data? Ah! Because of this, Google Sheets allow you to create filter views that only you will see. This allows you to filter the data and not disrupt what others will see. If you have can edit permissions to the sheet, you can save your filter views so they can be used later by anyone else viewing the sheet. Start by clicking the arrow to the right of the filter button and select Create New Filter View. Anne can now apply her filter and not affect what her teammates are seeing. Like most things in Google Sheets, filter views are automatically saved. So Anne can name her filter view. That way, when she closes the view, she can quickly access it again from the filter button. It's important to remember that only those with can edit permissions can create filter views and save them. Those with can comment or can view permissions can still create filter views. However, those views are temporary and only they can see them. Now that this team is using Google Sheets, it's easier for them to work together on their spreadsheets. Won't you join them?